In this video, we are going to learn what is a transmission system, how it works, and why it's useful in the automotive field. We will see three types of transmission system. For example, this Bugatti Chiron has a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission that is a type of automatic transmission. Moreover, we will also see a manual transmission and the more exotic CVT transmission. CVT stands for Continuous Variable Transmission. Generally speaking, the transmission system is a device which provides controlled application of power in various conditions. It uses complex gear system in order to convert speed and torque from a rotating power source to another part, in this case the wheels. So the question is, why is it useful in a motor vehicle? Basically, the answer is that the rotation provided by the internal combustion engine needs to be adapted for the drive wheels. For example, a petrol engine operates at very high rotational speed, usually over a range of 1000 to 7000 rpm, while the wheels rotate usually at a maximum of 2000 rpm. So, the job of the transmission system is to reduce the higher engine speed to this lower wheel speed. This process is useful in order to increase the torque, so that the system can supply high torque at low speeds, but staying also between the engine RPM limit at high speeds. Ok, you are starting to understand why a transmission system is needed, but we didn't say where it's mounted and how it works. The transmission usually is connected to the engine crankshaft through a clutch or a flywheel. The output of the transmission is transmitted thanks to the drive shaft to one or more differentials, which drives the wheels. The differential's purpose is to permit the wheels to rotate at different speeds, in order to avoid wheel spinning during cornering. Perfect, now that I've given you some background about transmission, let's start to focus on the various types of transmission system. The first one is the manual. Manual transmission is the most common type, because it's very cheap and light. But at the same time, the other types usually give better fuel economy. It uses a driver operated clutch, usually engaged and disengaged by a foot pedal, for regulating power and torque transfer. Meanwhile, the gear can be chosen through a gear selector, operated by hand. So, the difference between an automatic transmission is that the driver has to operate the gear stick and clutch in order to change gears. Now, let's try to understand how it works when our car is moving, with this simple animation, where you can see the gear selector in action. The top shaft is coming from the engine crankshaft and it's rotating at about 4000 rpm. Meanwhile, the bottom one is rotating at about 2000 rpm thanks to the gears in the transmission. You have to consider that the flywheel is attached to the engine's crankshaft and so rotating at engine speed. The clutch is between the flywheels and the transmission input shaft, enabling and disabling the connection between the engine and the transmission. When the engine is running and the clutch is engaged, the flywheel spins the clutch plate and so the transmission. Keep in mind that engage means that the clutch pedal is not pressed. Meanwhile, if it's necessary a change of gear, it's sufficient to disengage the clutch pressing the clutch pedal, then select the gear needed using the gear stick and finally release the clutch pedal. In doing this, you have changed the transmission ratio and so the vehicle can deliver the perfect torque also for different speeds. Now, let's analyze how an automatic transmission works. 
basic difference is that it automatically changes the gear ratio as the vehicle moves, as the name suggests. This means that the driver neither have to press the clutch pedal nor change gear by hand. As you can see, it's composed by an input, an intermediate shaft and the output. In this case, it's a 6-speed automatic gearbox, meaning that it has 6 gears plus the reverse. These are the clutches plates and are useful in order to engage and disengage the planetary gears. Each clutch is put into motion using pressurized hydraulic fluid. Now let's see this animation in order to see how the gear changes. It works thanks to the different configuration that the clutches use. In doing so, it's able to pass from the first gear to the second and so on until the sixth gear and even the reverse. Maybe you are wondering why should I prefer an automatic transmission to a manual one? The advantage of an automatic transmission is the lack of a clutch pedal and a manual gear stick. This allows the driver to not focus on these two steps, increasing the attention on the road. Moreover, an automatic transmission increases the life of the system because it changes the gear perfectly, without any human errors, that could wear the gear and the clutch. Changing perfectly the gear, it also improves the overall performance and efficiency of the vehicle. A particular type of automatic transmission is the CVT, the stand for Continuously Variable Transmission. It can smoothly alter its gear ratio by varying the diameter of belts, chain link pulleys, wheels or cones. This type of transmission is very interesting due to the fact that it is possible to achieve theoretically an infinite and continuous range of transmission ratios. Some automotive brands such as Toyota and Lexus have developed an electronically controlled CVT called eCVT. In this system the transmission has fixed gears but the ratio of wheel speed to engine speed can be continuously varied by controlling the speed of the third input to a differential using electrical motor generators. Finally, let's talk about the problem related to the transmission system in which you may run into. The classic warning sign are vibration and strange noises. If you notice that your car has trouble accelerating or moving at all, but you can hear the engine speed up or rev, it could be the transmission gear slipping. Another warning sign is if the gear stick in your car is difficult to get into gears, causing noises during the changing. In this case, the transmission is either about to fail or has already failed. Continue to talk about problems, also strange smells are a wake-up call. Indeed, a burning smell could be a problem related to the transmission fluid. Sometimes the transmission fluid could also start leaking, reducing the pressure inside the transmission, causing damage and extra wear, increasing the risk of overheating. Remember to like the video and subscribe to this channel if you like this content. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.